Hey, welcome to Plant Mark, and today we have a brand new camera, the Canon G7X, the pretty much well-known, universally known vlogging camera. So, but really, we're gonna be asking the questions of how good is it? Like, and going through all the different tests, showing you exactly what it looks like in dark, like out, and just to let you know, we're not gonna be doing anything to the video. So, pretty much everything you're gonna be well at the moment, we're filming on our. Uh, Sony HD 400 and a minute we'll be switching over, but like I said, we're not going to be changing anything the, We're not going to be putting any mics on it. No editing no filters or anything like that unless we say But so everything you this is exactly what you get. There's no add-ons no accessories or anything. So let's turn on The G7X so just left of the shutter is the power on button right on the top where you normally find it Let's turn this on Makes a little bloom noise as you turn it on and opens up. Pretty cool, pretty sweet. Like, uh, like, a split, like I said, this is a big, big step up from my previous camera. Just like a little Sony handheld, not very good. I think it's like, yeah, it's like 50 quid or something like that. That's what we vlogged our previous uh, Florida vlogs in. And this is the new camera that we'll be doing the whole new one in it. So, the first thing, like, you get this cool wrist strap as well with it. So, you know, if, pardon me that if you think that I'm going over too many little things, but I'm going to be leaving no stone unturned. That's the kind of little annoying bug thing which will annoy me just thinking about, oh, do we get a wrist strap? Yes, you get a wrist strap free. So if you're thinking of like, oh, the G7X or the G9X Mark II, th pretty much the same kind of camera, but like this is obviously the, the more expensive one. And one of <laughs> I will say as well actually, just while you're doing that, like you can't see properly because the quality of this camera we bought the camera we're filming on now for photos, we did we weren't vlogging, so we didn't look at the video quality. Like the difference just on the screen and what you can see between the two cameras is crazy different. <laughs> like this one, as you can see on the screen right now, it's really washed out and that's how the videos come across and Mark's pulling weird faces. Um, but on that one, you've got, it more or less is the same colours as it is in person. But the first annoying thing that I will say about this camera, like, it's, maybe it's just a thing that's going to get take to get used to. Like, um, if we look at the thing under here, like how you open it, there's a little switch like that you open. And the battery is in here. You have to take the battery out in order to charge it. That's one thing that I was I'm like, mm, I like to charge my camera. I mean, there is other like a little ports. Maybe you can do it on the laptop. We'll let you know as soon as I find out. But this will be the camera which we'll be vlogging on from now on. So let's quickly have a look at the buttons and all the little different buttons and everything. So shout out at the top is for taking photos. There's two dials. One at the top and one slightly, slightly underneath. It's like, it looks like a bigger, see here? It looks like a bigger one than yeah. the smaller one on top, almost like a little top hat. But obviously, when we you, when we get this camera properly like mounted, and you can see exactly how it looks, like with the we'll go from really intense high to very very low. Here's the little settings wheel, as I like to call it. Menu play and record buttons all around here. So it's touch screen, and we can autofocus. Which is exactly what you would do on your phone, like you want it to focus on that bit. You can focus on tiny areas or really big areas. So basically it's just a lot more flexibility in what you can do with this. Especially like with a big jump up from what is known as a potato in the, uh, in the film vlogging world, like a bad camera. To a good camera so like you can really change it and the focus is what is focused super quick I'll show you obviously later but let's take the you know the big thing with oh <laughs> I'm getting used to like the touch screen because the previous one wasn't so now the main thing why you're gonna get this camera is for the flippy screen thing so you can see yourself like in the selfie cam so let's do that no, there we go and it automatically knows when it's been flipped which I suppose is the bare minimum that you would expect so Let's waste no more time, guys. <clears throat> oh. It also goes that way as well. Not sure when you'd ever need the camera to be like that, when you'd ever be looking like, whoa. I suppose maybe if like, you're holding I think it, it. I think it goes like that. Mm. Ah, see? That's as far as it goes. This is as far as it goes. I'm not really sure when you'd ever need it to be like that. What kind of a person will be at that angle? But let's just put it back and let's finally... Okay, so like I said, this is our old Sony candle that, have, that we had before, our old Sony. Now let, let's have a look. 
that's going to magically flip it to the G7X. And this is it. This is what filming on the G7X will look like. Like I say, we're not doing anything. This is what it will sound like as well. La da 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 da. And because I'm not doing any kind of mic or anything like that, because I hate accessories, mostly because I'm an incredibly forgetful person. So, let us have This is literally just in studio. I like studio, we're on a tripod at the moment, but that's not where you're going to be doing the majority of your vlogging. You're going to be doing the majority of your vlogging outside in really weird conditions. But let's just quickly see what it looks like indoors. So at the moment, we're at its normal aperture of light, so it's at the zero. We're going to be slowly going plus one, plus two, plus three, and you'll hopefully see me getting much brighter. This is really just for when you're outside, or just really so, you, again, you have more of that flexibility, which you don't have on many other cameras. Well, not these kinds of like vlogging cameras in the range of 500 to 600 pounds anyway. And this That's is like good. if I was vlogging on the, on, you know, on the surface of the sun. Yeah, like you need the extra, you would use that in low light because it lets in as much as possible. So quickly just knocking the tripod to see how well the image stabilisation goes. But don't worry, this is the camera that we'll be doing for a big Halloween scare a a big terror in the trees on Saturday. So hopefully have that vlog up for you on Sunday. That again will be with this camera as well as all of our other vlogs from now on. So from this point onwards, we're going to be using this camera. If you're wondering what it will look like, this is what it will look like. Okay, so now we're going to be just quickly doing the aperture as minus. So when, for example, with us, when we go to Florida, it's super mega bright. It's like the sun. So you want to be lowering your aperture in order to make, you know, to let less light in. So you look a bit clearer. So let's just go minus one, two, three. And hopefully you should be seeing me getting a lot darker, like in the terms of the light. Yeah. And now we're back to normal. But, like I say, that's not how you normally vlog. So let's take it off the tripod and take it for a proper go. I think what I'm loving most about this as well is with the other one, if you knocked it, it would knock it out of focus. And you probably noticed in our vlogs, if you've been around for a while, sometimes Mark just goes totally out of focus. Yeah, this one, like, you can literally... It just tracks him and he stays in focus. Or it goes back in pretty quick. <laughs> Which is pretty, it's, that's what you want when you're walking around. Yeah, you don't want to be blow, blow, blowy, blowy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go. So this is it with the full exposure on. It's very windy as well. Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> still image at the moment, which it seems to be pretty much. But if it's just normal street light or just pretty dark with the exposure, then it's good. That's one of the reasons why we got this camera. And let's turn it around and quickly see me. So I'm gonna flip around and do a selfie for me. So this is me on the selfie cam. I've lifted it up and yeah, I'm not sure. Again, testing the mic, see whether the mic would actually come any clearer here, but, and also image stabilization. Trust me, if, unless you have like some shaky Parkinson's or something like that, you're definitely gonna be fine because you'll be less shaky than me. I'm pretty bad and that's why I need the best. For me, personally, I need the best stabilization because I'm not very good at holding it straight. Yeah, so, and also, but there's one annoying thing because I keep looking up at the camera, which I look at myself and look at myself and like, he's looking up, what? What's he doing? That is one, but I, again, you'd rather have it just as kind of like a base thing, even if you just want to quickly look at yourself and just see from there. That's probably what I would advise doing when vlogging with this camera. So, I'm really cold as well. I think as well, like, it's really windy at the moment, so it's the, this is... It's horribly windy. Let's go back the other way, but yeah, the selfie thing does really help. And actually, if you want this, people should always cut your head off like me or don't get yourself in the shot. Okay, so that's what the camera looked like when you take it outside in the pretty much pitch black. The darkness is about, mm, what, nine o'clock now, I think? So, yeah. But anyway, when you turn it back on, one thing you will have to remember is that it turns on, like when we, we had it on the, the plus three, the most amount of exposure you could, we turned it back on. It didn't reset, it just stayed at that plus three, whether that's a good thing for you, I don't know. I kind of prefer it to go back to normal. So that's pretty much it. Only one more negative I would say about this camera is because it's so kind of big and there's a lot of stuff on it and the lens and all that, in your pocket, when you put it in your pocket, it's very bulky, it's not very compact. I'm used to it being really like slim, just go whoop, and like quickly grab it from your pocket. But this one is a bit heavier, so that's just something really, it's more something to get used to, and it won't, maybe I won't really be able to put it in my back pocket, which is why I normally, where I normally keep my camera. So, in just in case it's you're one. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing because that's how I broke the last camera. 
So well, just in case you're wondering, this is the it with, if you're wondering what it would look like with the light off or how well it picks it up. So I'm going to quickly turn the light off with the clap of my hand. And back on. We don't actually have a clap, Loris is turning the switch on and off. But that's what it would look like if you want to know how well it picked it up. But anyway, that's pretty much my full review. Like I say, with any more videos that we do on this, uh, on this channel on Planet Mark will be on this brand new camera. So if you want to know whether you want it as well, if you have any more questions, then tell me in the section below in the comments section. Before you do, make sure you subscribe to Planet Mark and hit that bell notification for brand new Florida adventures. Only 24 days till we actually get to properly use it out. And remember, we've got a Halloween special like Terra and the Trees on Saturday, so hopefully that should be up at the weekend. So if you're excited for that, and please go check it out if we've got it up already, then go check it out. We're using this brand new camera in the dark. So that's how well you'll be able to tell properly its the exposure, and it's pretty much our first time really using it. Hope you really enjoyed this lesson. Follow, like and share this video. Follow us on Twitter at PlantMarkVlog or Facebook.com forward slash PlantMarkVlog. See you in the next one, guys. Bye, 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 bye.